How are you doing? Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, you'll be learning 7 easy tricks to use on Pizzle Lab to make your design faster. So here, yeah, let's get right to it. But first, if you're new to my channel, kindly hit the notification button to subscribe and get notified whenever I drop new video. So let's get right into it. So the first trick here is hide. To hide image while designing, just have to select the image you want to hide it can be text it can be image select it click here then click on hide here yes what you see i've successfully hide this image so then i can go ahead and perform my designs the second one is mesh you can make two or more objects Get that here on Pizza Lab. Let's see. What image here? Let me bring another one. And give me different colors to differentiate them. Okay, now watch. I'm going to make these two. Just have to select them. You click on the match icon. Okay, you see, now I've made them. So now I can rotate them any button I want. I can resize it. So, and with this mesh, I've created out the new shape. So that's the by the way. Next is how you can select all these images here. All these images here as well and move them. So you can select all these images here and move them all at once without selecting them one by one. So to do this, I'll have to click here, select everything, click here, select every object I want to move at a time. I'll select them. Then I'll click on this icon that is move and I'll select the roots I want it to move. Then I can easily move them all at once. This saves you the tax of moving each text one by one. So by doing this, I move everything I want to move all at once. So next one is rotate. Yeah. When you want to rotate the text or image together, you want to rotate the text or images together. Instead of merging them, just like this one, I've merged this one now to rotate. You can also rotate them without merging them. You can rotate them together without merging them. So to do this, you have to select them first. Select the ones you want to rotate together. This will be this busy lab and this icon. I want to rotate it. I'll just select them. Click here, select rotate over here. Then you see. Ah. And once I'm done rotating them, I can also still be able to edit them. They are not much, not like this one. The next tip is. How you can resize, yeah, resize. So now, let's say I want to resize this test shape together, including this image. I'll just have to select them all at once. Go to where it is and select them all at once. Then click on this icon over here. Click on the size icon. I'll resize it all at once, giving it the same size. So instead of selecting one, one after the other and resizing the same size, I'll simply click all of them, select all of them and resize them all at once, saving time. So the next one is lock image. So when designing, we can discover that there is a lot of images and this. So for them not to interfere your design, you just have to select one. Select the one you're not making use of at the moment and 
lock them let's see so now i can easily lock the background which is this i lock it so that when i'm designing and moving the background will not be moving as well and this one like lock this shape here this right shape so when i'm designing this it will be moving i'll just have to click on it and lock them so you see you know move so it will be an intact as i'm designing so make helping you to focus more on the things you are doing here so next trick is how you can center your texts and your designs so once you are done designing on page up and you want to center everything to be on center you just have to just select everything and yeah, select all of them select all of them then click here click on center select whether it's left or right or center you want them to be you see the alignments you want them to be so you select them after some samples so the last but not the least in the seven easy tricks is how you can delete your images your test all at once yes all at once so while designing and maybe you're no longer make use of this and this and this you want to design them delete them all at once instead of deleting them one after the other right like this just have to bring them back select them all at once and delete them yeah see this yeah. then click on here delete see i've deleted them So these are the seven easy tricks you can use on your PG lab to make your design faster and better. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the notification button and comment, share with your friends. See you in the next video.